All right, I'm just pulling into the neighborhood, so I want to give you a, a street tour of the neighborhood. You know, clearly older homes. Um, yeah, I'd say a mixture of, of maintenance. You know, we just passed one that's, you know, needs some updating, obviously. But you've got, you know, obviously a lot of them are very well kept, just like that one there we just passed. This one's on a, a dead end street, which is kind of nice. All right, so here's the front of the house. Um, again, you know, going that direction, the, the road does dead end down there in a cul-de-sac. To give you a view of everything that's around it. I actually just got stopped by a couple neighbors who live uh, just a few houses down and asked them how they like the neighborhood. They've been here for 30 years. You know, love the neighborhood, love the location and the proximity to everything. Um, seem like real nice, real nice folks. So it's like a polished travertine floor in this area. You've got um, an old antique fireplace. I don't know if that's operable or not. It most likely is just for looks. So I would consider this like a formal living room or formal dining room off the foyer here. Kind of a, kitchen's on the small side. It's more of a, I would consider this like a galley style kitchen. And they did definitely make the pitch, the rooms look bigger in the pictures than they look in person. You had some, you know, slightly vaulted ceiling there another fireplace now that fireplace looks like it may be operable actually i think it might be I see a glow in there so uh, it may just be a reflection it's an electric fireplace so on this side of the house you've got two rooms and a bathroom bedroom here little linen closet, tiny little linen closet there. Full bath here, pretty dated. I'm gonna, just another closet here in the hallway. And this room back here is a good size, nice size room. walk-in closet and a door out to the pool area and heading to the other side of the house through the kitchen here I would consider this kind of the dining room formal like a more of a formal dining another door going out to the pool area you know if you wanted to open this house up like this wall here that's dividing that front room from the kitchen you know if you open that up you'd walk in and have a nice big open shot uh, more of a you know an open plan that way. That's the only way you really could could open things up a little bit. Okay, I'm guessing this is yeah this is the the owner suite. 
It's actually a little smaller than that back bedroom, but it has the ensuite bath. So that's your water closet there. And then there's a tiny shower there, kind of hidden behind the vanity wall. And you just got double closets along the wall there. This is really, I mean, I would consider this more the walk-in closet for the master, but they're counting this as a bedroom. So this is where you're, where they're getting that fourth bedroom uh, because it has a door from the out, to the outside as well. But the only way other to get into it is to go through the master bath. So, and since those are your only other closets, they were probably using this as like a master closet area, but this is obviously counted in the, in the bedroom count. Two car garage. There is attic access there. Your laundry hookups are out here. And you do have a little side door going out to the side of the house, but All right, looks like about a 10 by 10 by 20 covered area out here. Um, and then the caged pool area is nice size. Um, and you've got, you know, some, they got a little pond and bridge out there behind with a little stone feature in the back. All fenced in. There's a little shed out in the back corner. See a little, I guess I call that a koi pond. There's there's like goldfish in there. Looks like there may have been like a waterfall at one point that's clearly not, not working and leading into the pond. The air conditioner does look like it's on the newer side, and I think I remember reading in the description that the roof was replaced in 2012, so the roof is still in good shape. You know, you got a little stone paver path uh, leading to the side gate there. You know, again, there's that shed in the back. You know, a little stone pathway around the back and, the, and the, around the, the fish pond. and then another stone pathway leading to the gate on this side of the house. I did just notice is you got a series of skylights up there on the on the roof. So, you know, that obviously, you know, the more, you know, cut-ins you have on the roof line, the more opportunity for, for leaks. It looks like there's about five of them up there um, on that roof. So just something to consider.